with Andrew Hurley ahead of UConn playing for the national championship on Monday night against San Diego State. Andrew, you know your dad better than anybody. What have you seen in the way that he's led this team and, and in the way that, that he's gone about the last month? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely been a certain amount of poise that we've had uh, coming towards the end of the season, you know, um, especially with just practices, you know, dialing some of the live back, um, you know, and just really, really just taking a, uh, you know, just a, a really certain uh, kind of importance on just like the mental aspect of, of what these games are. How much fun has this ride been? Oh, my God, it's been, you know, it's been an absolute blast. You know, it's such an experience. Um, it's just crazy to be part of it all, you know, um, you know, especially now playing for a national championship, just like this whole thing. It's hard to take it in in the moment, but um, for sure it's a cool experience. You said you dial it back a little bit. You guys, covering you in November and December, you go as hard as any team in the country. Has that been something different this year where the year gets deeper, gets longer, you're playing more games where it's been a bit of a different approach? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like, uh, you know, this late in the season, it's definitely a little, uh, little new for us. Um, you know, not not especially for the program, but I think just for this team, you know, it's a little new. But, um, you know, I, these guys have done a really good job acting like they've been here before um, with just everything, you know, the preparation and, and all that. Um, but still, you know, even when we dial it back, we're still going, you know, as hard as anybody. And, um, you know, that's something you know, that's that, that we take a lot of pride in. Look, the thought process from the outside is UConn, they're the heavy favorite tomorrow night. What do you say to that? Man, it's a championship game. I, there's really no favorites. You know, both teams are, are really, really good. Um, and, you know, they're there for a reason. So it's, it's, it's anybody's game, and you just got to go out there and just play as hard as you could. All right. Your dad said in his press conference that he has finished his second painting. This is for Kamani Young, and it's of a New York City skyline during the winter. Have you laid eyes on it? Not yet. I mean, that's... I might not even lay eyes on. We'll see. I mean, it's 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 one of those things that, you know, it's it's such a really uh, poorly done painting that you know, it might not be that great. But um, I, you know, I might give him the benefit of the doubt, and and maybe it's decent. We'll see. Could we see a Cincinnati Bengals painting ahead of next season? Oh, absolutely. I think there's definitely going to be a Cincinnati Bengals uh, painting that's going to slip in at some point. Orange and black stripes. I mean, it's going to it might resemble it a little bit, but. It's definitely going to have his own spin on it for sure. So, Best of luck Monday night. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.